All right, so we just got done doing the melody in octaves. It does these notes um, going up. And now this is a kind of creepy sounding part. Um, and I don't actually have the score. I've looked at other people's transcriptions and I've listened to it. So if you think maybe it's not exactly right or some notes need adjusting, it's fine. Just um, let me know. Not a big deal. Um, so this part, the right hand is... It just does that over and over. The left hand changes and it does this. it again. So really the bottom note is doing this. And the top note is going. So you have with right hand. part, it goes back to the main idea here. Just a little extra. Then it goes up an octave. Same thing. So that part right there, um, let me move this <clears throat> so we have um, F chord, G, A minor, and then this one. This is the same when you had it before on this part. It's really the same chord. It's like F minor with the G in the melody. And this is a C major broken chord. I'm trying to get out of the way so you can see these notes. It's and that's the note that you hit. So. So again, that part is... And you go all the way up here. I'll just show you the right hand first. Okay, so again, it's up here, those three notes. Two, three, four, one. <clears throat> Sorry. Okay, um, the left hand right there, it's only one note at a time, starting with A. It's the same thing in both hands. And then 
that goes with this chord. It's like an E major. Can you see all the notes? And then you can come down here. Okay, and the end is real free. You know, the timing, you can kind of do it how you want. Okay, so I'm going to do the last part again from when you have the melody up an octave. 